Uh, Mano is my name. I came uh, to Australia on the 8th of April 2004. I've been living here for over 13 years and got employment in 2010, which is Leighton Gordon. Uh, pretty much uh, before that I was a refugee, I believe 18 years of my 35 years. Uh, displays in refugee camps, 12 of that in one of the camps called Kakuma Refugee Camp in the northern part of Kenya. My role within South Sudanese Communities is a not-for-profit community association. Uh, the South Sudanese Youth United is uh, a group of young people, so they range from uh, early teens to late teens, probably maybe early 30s, and uh, the circumstances are that obviously they all came here like me as migrants and most predominantly as refugees. You know, the opportunity to play, you know, multicultural game, you know, on Collingwood side against Victoria Police on a day like that at MCG 9 side is a significant opportunity. It inspires them, motivates them. Uh, the other importance of it is bringing a lot of people together through celebrating a sport and playing the game. And, and it builds the foundation that a lot of migrants can build their life through sport. All they need is opportunity or opportunities and connections through clubs that can give them that pathway. Well, look, community engagement is fundamental to policing. We, we, we are part of the community, and for us to actually do our job, we need the community to work with us. The South Sudanese community, and, and particularly in, in a multicultural round in football, it's a wonderful opportunity for Victoria Police to, to get out and be with uh, members of our community, work with them. We've spent a lot of time um, engaging with our community members, and uh, it's just a wonderful opportunity to, to uh, show Victoria Police in a different light, to engage some young people who are really, really talented, and actually get them to showcase just what they offer. It's a wonderful opportunity and we're really grateful to Collingwood and the AFL for uh, allowing us to be part of it. It's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. Yeah, a bit of a different look today. So for our recovery training session, we had the South Sudanese community, uh, a few boys from there out and the Victorian police. So we've got a game this week, a little curtain raise on the G before us, which should be pretty exciting for them. So they came out and had a kick with us and um, we didn't really teach them much, many lessons, but we had a lot of fun. Now I know why uh, people love Collingwood. <laughs> That's a comment I need to make. Uh, the community is really uh, so happy to see Collingwood on board trying to help and, uh, and support uh, the migrants, especially South Sudanese. So uh, these are great things and uh, all the clubs should do what the Collingwood is doing to support and encourage the community to be part of the game. And uh, look, uh, from the community point of view, uh, we are so happy uh, that the, uh, the Collingwood Football Club is willing to work with the South Sudanese community. This is a great start and let's move on, make it bigger. And with the support of Collingwood Club, we will get there and uh, we are so happy to see Collingwood in particular trying to support our community. Right, I'll tell you, the boys gave us a bit of a run around, so I sort of gave up halfway through but then continued doing it. And it's actually a great initiative that Collingwood actually invited us to come and have a kick around with them and everything. So. It just shows that they're actually willing to help out the community and so forth. In all honesty, yes, my brother is Majak though. He plays for North Melbourne, so now I follow North Melbourne. But the first game I actually went to was a Collingwood versus Fremantle. I think it was 2003. So it started off with Collingwood, but then since my brother became, what do you call it, a North Melbourne football player, so we've all decided to start following North Melbourne. But Collingwood has still got a place in our hearts and everything. So.